According to Adrian Wolf of ESPN, Paul Millsap could be out as long as three months after he has surgery to repair a torn ligament in his wrist. This means Millsap could miss close to half of the season, which is really bad news for the Denver Nuggets. I'm Easy Buckets, and it's time to get deep into detail on how this injury could really affect the Western Conference at this time. Y'all ready to get into it? 3, 2, 1, let's go! To give you a brief description of Paul Millsap was that he was the main signing of the Denver Nuggets in the offseason, signing him to a three-year, $90 million deal and putting him beside a front court with him and Nikola Jokic to where they are a dynamic two-way defensive player and an offensive player that can both spread the wings. After four straight years of Denver Nuggets missing the playoffs, this signing was expecting them to become a playoff team and finish on the 7th to 8th mark seed in the Western Conference. So that gives you the question that with Paul Millsap being injured, how does that affect the Denver Nuggets and how does that affect the Western Conference? Straight put at it, with Millsap's injury, the margin of error becomes that much slimmer and they're down a key veteran, a scorer, and a defender that was really crucial to their offense and defensive system. Almost 20 games in the season, Paul Millsap was averaging 5.6 field goals made per game at a 45% field goal percentage, 3 free throws made per game at a 70% free throw percentage, 1.3 threes a game, 15.3 points, 6.2 rebounds, 3.1 assists, 1.1 steals, and 1.3 blocks. These all-around stats were able to put them at a 10 to 7 marks and have won 7 of the last 10 as I'm currently making this video. They were really hitting their stride and now this bad news really hits them hard and just affects the whole Western Conference and I'm going to tell you why. The Denver Nuggets has officially lost a 15.6 rebound per night starting power forward who is taking the team to the next level and a playoff team. Last season, the Denver Nuggets were ranked fifth in offensive efficiency guys but did not make their playoffs even though they had that efficiency but because they were lacking defense. The addition of Paul Millsap would not only raise their defense guys but would also raise their offense and defense and make them a 100% playoff team. Now that they're gone it's going to be really hard to step back into that playoff position team. The Denver Nuggets was loving Millsap because as long as he was on the floor he was able to make ways for one way offensive players such as Mason Pumbley, Emmanuel Moutier and Hernan Gomez. Even though his defense was great they weren't losing anything on the offense as well. The team scored 3 points per 100 possessions more with Millsap on the floor than off. He was really making a true impact on both ends of the court. So with him being injured, who will the Nuggets need and use to step it up? As of right now, the Nuggets are stacked with power forwards, guys, but each has his own defensive flaws. It's going to take a commitment to try and hold on to a playoff spot without Paul Millsap. And that's what the Nuggets did to get a 114-98 win over the Kings in Millsap's first absence of the year. They started Kenneth Fareed on the first game that Paul Millsap missed, guys, and we all know that Kenneth Fareed has the potential to be a starting power forward in the NBA, but he only played 19 minutes, while Trey Lyles played 18 minutes off the bench. But most importantly, Hernan Gomez played 22 minutes off the bench, playing both small forward, power forward, and also the center position. Paul Millsap's injury 100% affects many teams in the NBA and affects the playoff hunt right now, but at the end of the day, they're still not a bad team and could potentially still snag away a playoff spot. The only reason to this is because the other teams in the Western Conference in that area are also struggling and have their own flaws. Let's start off with the Utah Jazz. Right now, they are in no better shape. With Rudy Gobert out up to six weeks, guys, the Utah Jazz might be losing and losing and losing, and it'll be really difficult for them to get back into shape. Also, with Dante Exum indefinitely out with a shoulder injury, Utah Jazz is not looking any better. And also, Joe Johnson, their sixth man, have to be reevaluated. Oh, that isn't looking so good as well. Another team is the Los Angeles Clippers, guys. Right now, they are playing without their starting point guard, Milos, and also with the injury and lingering Danilo Gallinari, two stars of the team, it's going to make them really difficult to consistently be a winning team to make a playoff. The Memphis Grizzlies are currently without their starting and star point guard, Mike Conley, and he's out up to two weeks, guys, so that means that Grizzlies will need to really, really reshape in order to stay in that picture. One large setback on one of these teams that are fighting for the 7th and 8th playoff spot could really slide the Denver Nuggets into the playoffs, guys. Right now, the Denver Nuggets, they're still a great team. They're 6th in the Western Conference as I make this video, guys, and Pop Millsap should be back in about 12 weeks, according to Adrian Wu. And you know what, guys, the season is not done yet, so hopefully the Denver Nuggets can still push for the playoff spot. Because last year, they they did push without Paul Millsap. So just an overall conclusion guys, Paul Millsap's injury really did hurt Denver Nuggets guys and really affected the Western Conference guys as I right now the main four teams fighting for the 8th and 10th spot really need to show that you know what guys they really deserve that playoff hunt and that playoff spot but as of right now Paul Millsap's injury really affects the Western Conference. This is Easy Buckets out, I'll see you all next time.